Okay, now we'll continue our our program. So the last step is uh, we have created our um, our our uh, search SRA report receive the uh, the value. So it means um, the next step is uh, we did we need to write the value that we received uh, to the uh, serial destination port okay um, in this application I want to trigger from here maybe okay I just want this call button destination 1 Okay, and this one button is station two. Okay, and then go double click. We will create button right. right. So, same as the serial port, we we will set the serial port parameters first. Uh, but this one is uh, set uh, destination. Port parameters destination one and start uh, st start uh, write serial destination one name it way or whatever you want okay first this one I'm gonna create new method as well as this one create new method but I will set this here I'm gonna delete this line okay set the parameter okay as usual we're gonna copy this I need a uh, try catch method. Okay, in here, destination one sp serial port dot uh, com name. I'm sorry, port name is the destination one com name and destination one sp board rate integer the parse and destination one bolt read destination two sp oh sorry destination one still sp dot parity this is same like method parity sorry parity you know dot sorry Okay. Same. If the situation one SP dot is open, gonna close. If I'm oh, sorry, no. and then we're gonna open and we'll paste the last uh, decision one from port successfully connected. Okay. And then we're gonna start right serial trading. So what we call the trading destination one destination one right serial trading new trade uh, right okay decision one start. 
I'm gonna encapsulate this inside the exception and we'll create new method for this so while the station one is open so we have a serial read value so it means that the um, dot right right line maybe I just uh, choose the right line maybe it's better the station oh sorry uh, serial read value so treat the slip up sleep is uh, time pulling and done I think yeah we don't need to make a delegate function so we only need uh, from here to here right okay uh, so for the destination 2 I will write the same code I just check first this is a uh, name but btn to destination to write so I double click I just copy paste the code from here but I change this to destination 1 into 2 like this and I change this too as well as to here and I just need to copy again this the script from here until here right I copy and then I paste that one and I select again from here okay so I will replace any this one to destination two okay replace all done so you see here um, to port parameters okay so we're gonna build this I'm gonna check what is this why okay. set destination port to okay because uh, this is required D like this and this one is as well as um, this one D right okay so okay we built again everything's okay I think to check whether the value is correctly correctly right to destination 2 uh, because we have made uh, com1 tree so it it will be connected to com1 because we create a com1 connected to 2 and then tree with 4 and I'm gonna add one pair one more pair as uh, let's start with later no problem so use a port class apply okay uh, everything's okay so so this is this is the com2 okay connected to the com1 so 
the country I take another application I think I use a Arduino serial I, I open from Arduino maybe Arduino serial monitor yeah? So first I set the port is um, one, two, three, three in our application, four, four, okay, I set, I set the port is, I start the serial monitor here, so you see here there's no data can come to this uh, Arduino serial monitor, and I'm gonna make it a little make it smaller right so okay we back to our code so if this is built successfully we get a start okay you can see here uh, connect 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 so I just did to no this is not content because uh, if I change the app config I think yeah I, I changed the app because when I start to connect the content doesn't exist you see okay so like this come on I just clean first the the last build and then I build again okay this is successfully built and I'm gonna start again so this is our application okay so we we're gonna check com1 connected to com2 and com3 connected to, to com4 I try to connect just was fully connected and a com3 I try okay destination one com port says is fully connected so it continues running okay I'm gonna check whether our application is appear in here one two three four one okay you see okay that's perfect our program is running as well and i'm gonna send something here okay i'm gonna stop this one i'm gonna check the com5 is uh, correctly uh, also receive the file as well com6 but when i'm connect this decision com2 port successfully connected okay and the serial port monitor it it said nothing and i'm um, try to sign something we can see this is a very very so we have successfully create our application sp uh, splitter i wonder if we can open another serial monitor how how what is your another application that we can use let me see I try to open the second Arduino whether it can be create two instance uh, I think yeah we can so this is a COM6 oh sorry this is a COM6 uh, this port is connected to COM4 because uh, because yeah three connected to com four I try to do, yeah it can r run in as well right so I minimize this one so two send to com one and then proceed to our application and then com3 connected to the com4 based on the uh this one right this is our search destination one and destination two okay so currently this is running so we try to send something so you see here our the arduino serial monitor our serial monitor received what we sent from the search com port 
Okay, that's all folks, I think. Uh, you can improve this application. Uh, can you improve this application? Uh, I think you have more creativity to improve this application, right? So, if I have S, 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 something like this, buffer, okay. Yep, like that. If you can improve this application, I will share uh, the source code on the link uh, below. Uh, also, yeah, mm, yeah, I think that's all. If you have any question, uh, I would like to share each other. You can connect on link LinkedIn profile or or email or something whatever so that's all folks i hope you enjoyed this video and then i hope this is very uh, this is useful for you for, to your project okay and then see you next time uh, see you for the next video okay i appreciate it. thanks folks